はい、皆さん、おはようございます。サブネイム・イングリッシュへようこそ。これから発信していく動画は英文法についてです。みんなその英語力が少しでも向上するように全力でお手伝いしたいという思いで発信しています。これからは英語を使ってコンテンツを発信していきますが、少しずつ頑張っていきましょう。この動画は毎日朝7時に公開されます。一緒にコーヒーでも飲みながらリラックスして参加してください。For today, I thought we should start from the basics and talk about what are English tenses. Simply speaking, a tense is a way to change the verb of the sentence to show when an action happened. This might sound difficult at first, but remember, English only has 12 tenses. For in the past, for in the present, And four in the future. English has many different types of verbs, but to make things as simple as possible, let's say that each verb shows either an action or a state. And the way we change these verbs is the way we use tenses. Action verbs, like the name says, usually show some kind of action. For example, go, play, run, jump. But state verbs. Show what is happening to us at a point in time. These are sleep, feel, think, etc. A very important thing to remember when choosing which tense to use is do not translate from Japanese into English. And if you must translate, never translate word for word. Doing this will only make the English sentence sound unnatural. Another important thing to remember and think about is the feeling of time. What is the feeling of time? When you're choosing which verb to use, which action to use, does it feel instant and short to you? Like, for example, jump. Or does it feel like this action naturally takes a long time to finish? Like, for example, talk. This will be a very important clue when choosing what kind of tense to use. Normally, tenses that use ing are more common with longer actions. Finally, are you talking about an action that happened once, an action that usually happens every day, every week, on some kind of schedule?、Um, do you think that this action will maybe happen in the future, but you are not sure? In all of these cases, the choice of tense will help you express yourself clearly and precisely. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.